Polar bear cub stuns experts after wandering 450 miles south all by herself. There are only 20,000 polar bears left in the world, and they're by far the most studied bear on the planet. Interestingly, these bears migrate like birds. During the colder months, they head south, and in the warmer months, they pack up and head north. Recently, though, wildlife experts found one particular polar bear cub far away from her home, and they were left scratching their heads. Just how exactly had she made such a distant, perilous journey all by herself? As the experts dug deeper, however, they found that her unusual travels included some unique characters. See just what this one little polar bear's journey entailed and how in the future many more might have to make their journeys just like her. Like birds, polar bears migrate. When winter rears its ugly head, the bear makes the long trek to warmer climates. Once summer arrives, they pack up their picnic baskets and head back north. Recently, one polar bear's travels in particular had experts scratching their heads. In Siberia, animal experts were stunned by the sight of this nine-month-old polar bear cub wandering far away from where it was supposed to be. How far exactly? Well, at more than a whopping 450 miles from the Arctic coast of Siberia, this polar bear definitely missed her freeway exit. After embarking on a journey about the distance from Los Angeles to Sacramento, California, this polar bear was a long way from her home on the north coast. The head of the Central Kalima Inspectorate for Nature Protection, Ivan Belonogov, marveled at the bear's journey. It's exceptionally rare for even adult polar bears to wander half this distance from the coast, he told Siberian Times. So how did she make such an incredible journey on her own? She picked up a few friends along the way, of course. Photographers captured pictures of her playing with a local dog from a fishing village in the Kalima River. In order to keep herself full and fed, the bear, now named Umka, developed an efficient way to gather food for herself, too. Fishermen and workers in the nearby village threw Umka scraps of fish and food that she happily gobbled up. In fact, she ate more than enough food, according to Ivan. The condition of the cub is satisfactory, he said. Her appetite is good. Still, something about Umka's journey didn't sit right with wildlife experts. Impressive as Umka's journey was, wildlife experts expressed a great deal of concern over two particular factors in her situation. She had no mother or family with her, and she'd had too much contact with people to survive on her own. She'd become too dependent on handouts over hunting. Rescuers needed to make a tough decision. The experts made the tough call. Umka would need to be tranquilized and brought to the nearby zoo. Without a mother and too reliant on humans for food, it was unlikely, they theorized, she could survive on her own so far away from her natural habitat. Yakusha regional wildlife expert Fedor Yakovlev noted in Siberian Times interview that polar bear displacement is becoming more common. Because of the rapid thawing ice, he said, some bears die at the ice holes as they swim, others go to people. Umka's situation was undoubtedly unfortunate. She'd made it so far on her own, but there wasn't likely a pleasant future for her at the fishing village. Bears like Umka inspired the formation of the World Wildlife Fund Bear Patrol, a task force comprising locals that monitor nearby polar bears and drive away unwanted guests. There were even further dangers of Umka's journey far from home, as she and potentially polar bears like her in the future migrate south, she would be heading into black bear territory, and that's a land battle experts believe that polar bears simply can't win. What will happen if more polar bears are displaced from their homes? Will similar fates like Umka's await them? In the end, it's impossible to know if experts made the right call in taking Umka to a Russian zoo so that she may be featured as a star attraction. One thing was for certain, though, Umka undertook an impressive journey that she was lucky to have survived. As for what she's up to today, she made herself at home at the zoo and guests love her. If they only knew her whole story, they'd love her even more.